our food in this lesson we are going to learn about the food that we eat the nutrients that we get from the food and also about the different methods of cooking we also will see how different kinds of food are prepared in different kinds of vessels and also about the appliances required for making these food items food as the basic need food is one of the basic need of all the living things food gives us nutrients and energy all living things means plants animals birds human beings insects etc in all all the creatures need food for their living why do you all think that food is very important for all the living beings food is an important part of every living creature because it provides it nutrients and energy which helps us to live okay now let us see what are the kinds of food there are three main kinds of food they are energy giving food body building food and protective food now we can see in the given table of form how does the food help us or how is it classified according to its benefits the food is classified into three different types that is the energy giving food body building food and the protective foods let us see how does the energy giving food help us it helps us to give energy and it helps the body to work out with that energy we obtain carbohydrates from the energy giving food we get carbohydrates from the cereals like rice wheat etc now let us move ahead to the body building food these foods allow us to grow and repair the tissues in the bones tissues skin etc the nutrients obtained from the body building food are proteins we get proteins from milk meat eggs beans pulses grains etc now let us take a look at the protective food protective food includes the food that gives protection to the body and it also defenses against diseases the nutrients obtained from the protective food are minerals and vitamins we get minerals and vitamins from vegetables especially green leafy vegetables and also fruits now let us learn about the vegetables there are some vegetables which can be eaten raw that means they can be eaten without cooking children can you name a few vegetables which can be eaten without cooking yes they are cucumbers tomatoes bell peppers carrots lettuce and many other they are easy to digest and hence they can be taken in in the raw form as well cooked food the food that must be cooked before eating includes grains pulses fish meat and vegetables such as potatoes cauliflower and beans children why do you think that these food items should be cooked and eaten 
is rightly thought these food items should be cooked before eating as it kills the germs and makes the food soft and easy to digest cooked food also tastes and smells good in the case of grains and a few more vegetables it is difficult to chew as well as digest those food items hence cooking of these food items helps in digesting the food better there are different methods of cooking now let us see what are the different methods of cooking the different methods of cooking are steaming boiling frying baking and roasting now let us see in detail the different methods of cooking frying this method enhances the flavors by submerging the food items in the oil example samosas puris papad etc these are the food items which are fried and eaten now let us see the boiling method of cooking food is cooked in boiling water example rice egg etc boiling makes the food soft and tasty steaming in this method food is cooked over the boiling water wherein it is kept over a strainer or a sieve which allows the steam to <clears throat> pass through and cook the food example idli dhokla etc the baking method in this the food is cooked in the oven at a very high temperature example cakes cookies pizzas etc are cooked by the baking method the next method is the roasting method food cooked over an open flame example paneer tikka grilled vegetables etc are cooked by the roasting process children these are the different methods of cooking food now please refer your textbook and go through these topics